We are about seven months away from the World Cup starting in Qatar, Qatar 2022. I am so hyped. Now that the official draw is out, I'm even more hyped. It's becoming more real. We only have a couple playoff spots left, um, and they're going to be in Group B with USA, Iran, and England. And then there's another one that's in France, Denmark, and Tunisia. And then there's one more that's going to be paired up with Spain, Germany, and Japan. So for the most part, most teams know who they're going to play. They have their dates and all that good stuff. I'm so pumped up. Like, it's really like we're really basically done with, you know, the qualifiers and the qualifying into the World Cup. The playoffs are almost done. The stage is set for Qatar 2022. And if it would have been any other World Cup, it would have been just a couple months away in June. But because it is in Qatar and it got pushed to November, you know, we still got to wait a little bit longer. Hopefully no more injuries happen and everyone gets to go strong into this World Cup. But I'm super pumped up. Some of the matches, let's just go through the groups. Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, and Netherlands. That's the host country, Qatar. Ecuador has been playing good. Senegal has some good players. Netherlands is always a uh, dark horse. Interesting group. Pretty even, I would say. I, I, I don't think Qatar gets out. If anything, it's going to be a battle between Ecuador, Senegal, and Netherlands. In Group B, this is where it starts getting very, very interesting. England and the U.S. in the same group again. A rematch of 2020-10 where they drew 1-1. We all know that. A terrible mistake that the England keeper had. Iran... We'll see if they're able to do anything. And the Euro playoff, I believe, is going to be Ukraine, Wales, or Scotland. All of them could be, you know, tricky. I do see the, the U.S. and England making it out of the group, regardless of whoever makes it. Wales would be interesting. They got that bell factor, and he plays different for Wales. But interesting group, England versus U.S. the day after Thanksgiving on Black Friday. I think that's a matchup that we're all looking forward to. That's going to be insane. I'm definitely going to watch that. That's that's one that I when the draw came out. That was that was blowing up Twitter. That was, you know, everyone's England, England pundits were saying, oh, that's a good start to the to the draw, getting the U.S., you know, easy pickings and then uh, American pundits and, and just casual American fans were, you know, referencing like the independence and all that good stuff. So it's, it's going to be great banter. It's going to be a lot of fun to see the U.S. go up against England in Group C, Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico and Poland. Argentina and Mexico have a lot of history. From the 2006 um, round of 16 and the 2000, um, 10, 2006 and 2010 round of 16, Argentina and Mexico have met up in the World Cup. They have met up in Copa Americas and other tournaments. They have a lot of history. Mexico versus Argentina. Hopefully for Mexico, they're able to you know avenge some of their past defeats to Argentina and do good in this group. Saudi Arabia, interesting team. Poland, interesting team. It's a pretty uh, decent group. I think Mexico and Argentina should be the heavy favorites to make it out. And maybe Poland has some things to say about that. And Group D, France, a playoff spot, Denmark and Tunisia. Uh, I forget which playoff spot this is. But I know, that I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that it's going to be France and Denmark that make it out of that last playoff spot. And in the in the Group E, Group E is the one that's tough, man. That's This is probably the group of death. This is... A stacked group. You got Spain, Germany, Japan, and the IC playoff two, which would be Costa Rica or I think I think it's New Zealand. I think Costa Rica makes it to the World Cup. So you got Spain, Costa Rica, Germany, and Japan. You know, just that's a that's a very tough group. I, I like uh, Germany and Japan, Spain. Like these are all really good teams. I think I'm gonna have to go with my Concacaf. Concacaf nation, you know, I, I support the U.S. I support Mexico. Uh, they're going through to the World Cup. I would like to see Costa Rica, you know, rep it, rep North America, and hopefully they're able to pull a 2014 where they had Uruguay, Italy, and England in their group, and they still made it through and they topped the group. So hopefully, if there's any Costa Ricans watching this, you know, I'm rooting for you guys. I know it's gonna be tough with Spain, Germany, two of you know the last three World Cup winners um, in the group. And then you got Japan, who are always a tough team. But realistically, it'll probably be Germany and Spain that make it through. But I would like to say that Costa Rica has a dark dark horse chance to make it through. Just because they finished the CONCACAF qualifier on a, on, a, on a streak, man. Out of their last seven games, I think they won six and they tied one. The one tie being Mexico at the Azteca. So that's very impressive. They're, coming, they're getting into form. I know it's a CONCACAF team, so people are going to... 
ignore him, but we'll see. Hopefully, they at least make the World Cup. I think it would be nice to have four CONCACAF teams in the World Cup. Group F, Belgium, Canada, Morocco, Croatia. This is another very strong group. Belgium, they have been dark horses for like the last two World Cups. I think this is the last chance they have to really make some noise. Canada took the CONCACAF qualifiers by storm. They led, they led throughout. They have a really young, really fast team. I think they could make some noise. Morocco, don't know too much about Morocco, but I don't expect them to make it out of the group. And Croatia, the World Cup finalist four years ago, coming to see if they have one last hurrah with Modric, you know, pulling the strings at the ripe age of, what, 37, 36? We'll see how they do. That's another interesting group. Group G, Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland, Cameroon. I think Brazil is a heavy favorite in that group. And honestly, all, all the other three teams could duke it out for that for that second spot. And in the last group, Portugal, Ghana, Ghana, Uruguay, and Korea Republic. That's a very even group. I'll like, I'll, I'll say too, Ur- Uruguay. You know, they they they're known to have some good World Cup performances. Portugal with Cristiano Ronaldo's probably last World Cup. That's going to be uh, a lot of fireworks. Ghana are always a, gr- a great uh, African uh, country that represents Africa well in the World Cups. Korea Republic, who beat Germany last year to eliminate them in the group stages. It's going to be a tough group, but there you have it. Those are your groups. That's your draw for the World Cup. Uh, man, I'm I'm so pumped, dude. I'm so pumped. I, I, now that the draw is over, it feels more real that the World Cup is eminent. It's right around the corner. It's at the end of the year. Super pumped up. What do you guys think? Who's going to make it to the, to the final? Um, I think... Uh, the way the the knockout works is you know a and b play against each other first and second c and d so potentially mexico if they beat if they win their group they could go up against denmark or tunisia or whoever that last playoff spot is but if they don't then they would play against the world champions in the round of 16 which would be kind of tough cuz mexico hasn't made it out of the round of 16 in a lo- in a long long time but we'll see. We'll see. What do you guys think? Are you guys excited? Do you guys like your country's draw? If your country's not in the World Cup, I know there's a lot of nations that got left off. Egypt, I feel bad for Egypt. Colombia, Chile, you know, Panama, El Salvador. There's a lot of there's a lot of people that I know, a lot of a lot of nations. Italy. There's a lot of nations that got left out. It's hard. The 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 World Cups that are coming up are gonna have more teams than them. So you know, you got to you got to look forward towards that. But if your team is not in the World Cup, what nation are you rooting for? Are you not going to watch the World Cup? Are you going to be a little salty? Let me know what you guys think. But I'm super pumped up for the World Cup. I'm glad Mexico made it. I'm glad the U.S. made it. I'm going to support both teams and we'll see how far they go. And I'm just pumped up, man. The, the, the World Cup is just pure festivities. It's a great time. It's a great month. It's the biggest sporting event in the world. And I just can't wait for it to be here.